Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. Could this be better than a Tesla Powerwall? Let's find out next on In Depth. Okay, we just installed a big battery, a 15.3 kilowatt hour battery. This battery actually holds more energy than a Tesla Powerwall, and it costs about half as much. Now, you know that we're big fans of Tesla here on the show, right? But if a company comes along with a product that competes on features and price, then you know we have to go check it out. And check it out, we did. We talked with our friends at Big Battery, who we've been working with for years, and we said, can this be true? Can your new Ethos home battery actually be cheaper than a Powerwall? And they said, we'll send you one so you can see for yourself. And that's what we did. Zach and I just installed Big Battery's Ethos home battery to see if it could really be better than a Powerwall. So Big Battery shipped us this, their Ethos battery. The first thing we have to talk about that's so cool about this battery is that it's modular. Unlike a Powerwall 3, which holds 13.5 kilowatt hours and can output 11.5 kilowatts, the Ethos system uses these bricks, which each hold 5.12 kilowatt hours. So you can start with two bricks for a 10 kilowatt hour system, or in our case, we're installing a 15 kilowatt hour system with three bricks. That fourth brick thing on top is the battery controller that you mount on top of whatever number of bricks you choose. And I know the burning question you're asking is, okay, you're installing three bricks, 15.3 kilowatt hours of battery. So how much does it cost? And that is one of the most compelling aspects of this product. The price for 15 kilowatt hours of Ethos batteries with the control box right now on their website is $5,800. That is $4,000 cheaper than a Tesla Powerwall 3. And the Tesla price doesn't include installation. Good point. As far as I know, you can't install a Tesla Powerwall by yourself. You need to hire a Tesla certified electrician. Right, as we're about to show you, us knuckleheads installed this Ethos system all by ourselves. So let's begin. We're going to be giving you the broad strokes in this video, but over on our Now Let's Review channel, we're uploading a video that goes through all of the steps. All right, so it all starts with stacking and attaching it to the wall. I'd say if you have ever installed, let's say a flat screen TV to the wall, then you can install this battery. It is super simple. Next up is the wiring of the battery itself. And I hear you, hang on, I can't do wiring. The cool thing is that Big Battery supplies all the super easy, color-coded, quick connect cables. You simply follow their video instructions and plug them in. It took us like five minutes. Okay, so now that the battery is attached to the wall and wired up, we need to attach it to an inverter so that we can use the power stored in it. An inverter is basically a machine with a computer inside that switches DC to AC and AC to DC. Right, because the battery is made up of, you guessed it, LFP batteries, which of course output DC current. And these are just like what you'd find in an LFP Model Y. These are even better than NMC batteries, in my opinion, what you'd find like in a Model S for this use case, because even though they are a bit less energy dense, they're just sitting here. They're not being driven around all day, so they don't need to be. And LFP has a lot of benefits over NMC chemistry, such as that LFP doesn't mind being charged up to full quite as much as NMC does, so you can get more out of your battery. Also, LFPs are way less flammable, which is kind of what you want to hear when you're storing a big battery in your home. Also, LFP has four times the cycle life of an NMC lithium ion battery, and that's how Big Battery can warranty their stuff for 10 years. Okay, so the battery stores energy and outputs it as DC current, but your house uses AC current. So that's where this inverter comes in. Big Battery sent us this Lux Power 12 kilowatt inverter. We're gonna use this inverter to do a bunch of things. First, we're gonna hook up our battery to it. So let's do that next. And I know it sounds overwhelming, right? But actually, look at this. It's really quite simple. We had it hooked up to the battery in about five minutes. You just attach these big leads here and plug in the ethernet cable that talks to the battery here. It's just like plugging in a router. I know, right? It almost seems too easy. Okay, so now we switch the inverter on and it immediately connects to the battery and that part is done. Next, we're gonna connect our inverter to the grid to charge up our batteries. It gets wired up in much the same way that you'd wire up a 240 volt outlet. Now you don't have to do this, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now that the inverter is hooked up to the grid power, we need to give it something to power. This is a really cool part. It's super flexible. Do you wanna power something completely off grid? You can do that. Do you wanna power just a few circuits in your home? You can do that too. In fact, if you wanna power your whole home, you can, because it's modular. You can keep expanding up to 16 bricks per control box, and you can keep adding inverters to get more and more power. And you can add more and more stacks of batteries with more and more <laughs> control boxes. Um, I was talking to their rep because they have great customer service, and I had a couple questions about this episode, so I just, and I asked them, and they were like, yeah, we'll do as big an order as you want. 
They're like, I don't know why you need more than 150 kilowatt hours, but we'll do it. And I was like, cool. So in our case, with three bricks and the Lux Power 12 kilowatt inverter, we have 50 amps at 220 volts at our disposal. So Zach and I are installing this electrical sub panel. What are we going to do with it again? We're taking our house's air conditioning circuits and a couple of new circuits that we're going to use for crypto mining. And we're going to power this sub panel with our new Ethos battery system. That's really cool. But wait a minute. But aren't we just taking energy from the grid and then flowing that through these batteries? Why is that any different from what we're already doing? Well, by going through the Ethos battery, the air conditioner and crypto miners won't shut down during a power outage. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And if we live somewhere with off-peak pricing for electricity, we could charge the batteries up during the cheaper off-peak hours and save a lot of money. That's cool, too. But you know what's even cooler? Free energy. What? There's this section of the inverter that we haven't talked about yet. Oh, right. The uh, solar inputs. Yeah, this Lux Power inverter can handle four solar arrays. So let's hook up some used solar panels and we'll see what happens. Oh, this is getting super exciting, Jesse. So um, what we just did, you're seeing a black and a red wire going into the box here. Uh huh. And that is because we just hooked up solar to the inverter. Yes. We put five panels outside. This is just a test, basically. But we're making about, what, like 110 volts or something when the sun's out? 150 when the, when the sun is out. It's just that um, right now they're being shaded. We have them sitting on the ground. It's not the best uh, scenario. But what we can do is build something that will hold the panels higher up and at a nice angle. And that should allow us to uh, basically run off of solar a lot of the time. So we're about to build a solar shed roof to provide waterproof outdoor storage and solar energy for less than building a traditional roof. We'll be telling you more about this exciting project down the road. But for now, we did something pretty super simple. Yeah, for now, we just laid out half a dozen solar panels on the ground and we're generating about a kilowatt of energy, which we plugged right in here. It took about 20 minutes, right? It's super simple. Yeah, solar is awesome. With just a couple new skills of like how to hook up these solar connectors, you can string together just about any size solar array. Okay, so I of course think it's cool to get free energy from the sun, but uh, how are we using it here? So we've told the inverter through this very simple touchscreen that we'd like to take power from the solar panels and feed it directly to the sub panel that we wired up. Okay, I get it. So on a sunny day, our air conditioner and our crypto mining will be solar powered. Yep. Okay, but what if we're making more power than we need? Then the inverter sends the extra power to the battery to store for later. Okay, but hang on. The solar panels are making DC power, and I get that this inverter can convert that to AC power for the air conditioning, etc. But if the batteries are DC, how, how can, can the, the inverter, inverter do two things at once, do the, the AC and the, the DC? DC? Amazing, right? The inverter contains three different MPPT solar charge controllers. It can handle the DC and the AC like this simultaneously. I'd get more into it, but for the sake of argument, it's basically just a little magic box that can do everything that you want it to do. Like, if the solar panels aren't making enough power, it will instantly take power from the battery and power the air conditioner subpanel. Wait, so I don't have to think about it? So once we wire up the system and tell it what we'd like it to do, it just always does its thing? Yep. Okay, so wait, when the sun goes down, I don't have to go down to the basement and start flicking switches? No, that's the amazing part. And the sun could come up at midnight and it would still work. The solar would, oh, it's, there's solar energy, I'll start generating. Okay, but wait a minute. What if the sun goes down and it's still hot out and the batteries don't have enough juice? Gotcha. If the batteries don't have enough power, the inverter will automatically switch to grid power. And what's cool is that we have total control over all the parameters. You can really geek out and decide when things happen, how much to store, etc. And then you can set it and forget it. Okay, okay, but what if the batteries are full and there's still solar energy coming in, what then? You can tell the inverter to send that power back onto the grid if you want. Now, of course, check with your local utility before choosing this option. Wait, so you can sell your energy back to the grid? If you live in a location that has net metering, and if you get approvals and go through all the steps, yes. If you don't have that, then the batteries will just stay full and the solar won't be doing anything, but that's only because you don't have enough batteries. You'll and, need more. And you can get more. <laughs> okay, so I get how our system works now. We're gonna get free solar energy that should be powering the house's air conditioning and the crypto mining most of the time. Yeah, we've been testing this very tiny solar system for the past couple weeks, and we've already proven that we can practically run this whole sub panel for free with our new system. And I wanna stress that we didn't need to hire an electrician. Now, disclaimer, 
Of course, you can hire an electrician and should if you don't have the skills or knowledge or if your local laws require it. But in many jurisdictions, if you're a DIYer, you can do what we did and save thousands of dollars by doing it yourself. And might I add, learn really awesome, valuable skills at the same time. I mean, I know now that we've been installing batteries in solar like we did on our mobile solar trailer and on this project, that I completely understand this whole new world of power generation that we control. Yeah, I mean, I'm so excited about this Ethos battery. I mean, think about this for a second. For about half the price of a Tesla Powerwall with installation, you can get the starter Ethos battery plus hybrid inverter system. And because that includes the hybrid inverter, you can add solar and you can do it yourself. Right, because Tesla doesn't allow you to install power walls yourself. So you don't need to wait for Tesla, because let's face it, in most areas, uh, power wall wait lists are so long that you're not going to get one for a while. And you don't have to get quotes from electricians and then hire electricians. You don't have to do any of that. And don't forget, do you remember how long it took you to get your Tesla solar system up and running? Right, 2013. That red tape cost me a summer of free solar. Yeah, you had the panels sitting on your roof all summer, and the utility didn't get around to signing your permit until late October. That was hundreds of dollars of free electrons wasted. Yeah, it's just so cool that you can do it yourself. It's like taking a master course in what I would argue is one of the most important subjects nowadays, energy. And if you're like, this sounds great, but I wanna make sure that I really understand how to do it. We made a super in-depth video over on our Now Let's Review channel where we walk you through how we installed our system step-by-step. -step. If you'd like to check out Big Battery's full lineup of products, use our referral link below and save even more. We wanna thank Big Battery for sending us the system to check for ourselves. And just so you know, we were not paid for this review. Our opinions as always are our own. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions and make sure to hit the like button so that we can spread the word on doing more with sustainable energy. There's so much more that I wanna talk about, <laughs> which we will talk about in the Now Let's Review video. So if you're still watching, you probably wanna go watch the Now Let's Review video. Like how you can get the expansion battery for less than $2,000. I know, that's crazy. What? I know. That's insane. Yeah. Thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. Now you know.